right, so we are going to be administering a continuous feeding pump, or doing a continuous feed. Um, we're going to be explaining the INO, and we are going to be administering medication via the NG tube, along with um, a sub-Q injection of Lovenox. Okay, so I would start by checking my MAR. Um, first, we are going to set up the feeding tube. She is going to get Jevity, uh, 1.5 calorie, 40 milliliters per hour, continuous feed. Um, so I would get my Jevity, I don't have any. Um, it's Joanne Jones, this is my first check. I'm gonna do my seven rights. So Joanne Jones, um, birthday 12-3-1967, she's allergic to penicillin. Jeff Moberg has <clears throat> ordered this. She's NPO, so nothing by mouth. Tube feed only. Um, it is 0800, so first feed of the day. We're also going to do, like I said, the Levinox, um, sub-Q, so we need alcohol swabs. Now we need to get our medication. So the Levinox, make sure it's not expired. Make sure everything, the color looks good. Um, Levinox, sub -Q. 40 milligrams perfect so my first check and I already did the same thing for my Jevity so I'm going to go to the door I'm going to do my second check I'm going to grab my Levinox I am going to check again not expired sub Q Levinox 40 milligrams injection perfect do the same with my Jevity Jevity 1.5 cal, 40 milliliters per hour continuous. All right, now I'm going to knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Good. So I have your tube feeding, um, your Jevity and your Levinox, so your blood thinner for this morning. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna perform hand hygiene. I am going to grab my gloves. Joanne, can you verify your name and date of birth, please? Joanne Jones, 12-367. Perfect. And are you allergic to anything? Penicillin. Penicillin. Perfect. Just what your bracelet says. Joanne, on um, a scale from 0 to 10, 0 is no pain at all. 10 is the worst pain that you've ever had. Can you rate your pain for me, please? Zero pain. Perfect. I would assess vitals. Um, I would oscillate um, the abdomen for bowel sounds before giving her her tube feed. Um, again, I am going to check my third check, patient route, right medication. Um, oh, indications, allergies. birth dose okay so my third check here 40 milligrams 0 0.4 milliliters of Levinox Joanne is it all right if we give your um shot in your belly this morning yes ma'am okay perfect so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna expose your stomach for a moment here and I would do a circular motion to clean the stomach really, really well. Okay, I would, if there was a cap, I would take it off. Pinch the skin, a little bit of an angle, sub Q. We're going to go a little slowly here so it doesn't hurt. And we're going to leave it for a second. We're going to pull it out. How's that, Joanne? That was good. All right, I would put this in the sharps container. Okay, Miss Joanne, we are going to check the residual of your tube feed. So let's lay this down here. We don't want to make a mess before breakfast. Okay. So, again. If we get 
250 or more residual um, fluid coming back in, then we would need to wait an hour, check again. Um, if it's less than 250, we can go ahead and start a tube feeding. We would put this back in if it's under 250. If it's over 250, we would, we would not put it back in. Um, we would try it again. If it was the same as in an hour, we would contact the doctor. We would check for abdomen, abdomen distension. Um, but because this was only 25, we're going to push it back in. Here. Okay. So I would hook up the tube feed. I would set it for priming um, with the kangaroo set up here. Um, and then it, it, the pump does whatever it did previously. So if it's going to be the same, the 40 milliliters per hour, um, that is her scheduled dose. I would ensure that it's the same, but um, if it wasn't, then the pump would talk me through how to change all of that. So um, it was the same. So we would go ahead and we would put it in here. We would set her up. Again, 70, 40 milliliters, continuous for the next bit. Set her up there. Okay. All right, Miss Joanne. So I would keep Joanne elevated so she doesn't aspirate while she gets her tube feeding. And even after, um, I would come back um, in about half hour, 45 minutes and check to make sure everything is good. Um, I would document all the findings, um, how she handled her tube feed, the residual, um, I would document her INO, um, intake of how much tube feeding she's getting, which then brings me to the INO. The INO is the intake and output of what a resident um, takes in or lets out. So any bodily fluid that comes out, we are going to measure and put on the output. Anything going in her, medications, um, the residual, the um, when we flush for her medications, we're gonna count all of that and put it on her intake. Um, it goes, um, In milliliters, is what I thought. This paper saying cc's. So um, most of the time, like the nursing home that I worked in, they had these in the patient's room with the names on them. Um, it was charted every day, every shift, after every meal. Um, so Joanne, if you need me, I will be back. I will check every four hours. Um, now we're going to be crushing meds in the med room. Okay, so I would continue with Rasmar to I would do my check. So again, I would have done this earlier um, with the tube feeding and back and forth and all of that good stuff. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. Here, I need to crush my meds. I would check for contraindications for her medications. I have my cups here. Crush each pill individually. I would go in, I would flush Joanne's. Um, tube. Okay, so we need to give um, aspirin 81 milligram tabs. So aspirin, Joanne Jones, 81 milligram tab. Acetophetamine, 500 milligram capsule. Joanne Jones, acetophetamine, 500 milligram 
capsules. She gets one um, every six hours. Lasix, 20 milligram tablet. Perfect, Lasix, 20 milligram tablet. 0800. Um, we need to do a water flush, sterile water flush, 250 milliliters every four hours. Okay, so this is my first check. I would then go outside the door. I would do a second check. Um, I would crush each med individually. The aspirin. I'm going to take one pill here. I'm going to set it in the cup, put this one on top of it. I would write um, on the outside of the cup what she's getting. Use the crushed real wheel. Pseudophetamine, second check, again, pseudophetamine, capsule, filling it out there, that is a lot, wow, mm, garbage, that doesn't need to be crushed because it already is, so we wasted a cup. We're going to go in, Lasix, 20 milligram tab. It's done, 20 milligram tab. Again, I would write down on the outside of this cup what she's going to be getting. All of that on my check to make sure that there wasn't any contraindications with crushing all of these tabs. Alright, so we've marked them all in the document because I've already given the longevity. I've done the Luminox. Okay, so I would take, do the flush 250. Um, I would aspirate, um, check for the residual um, before doing any meds. Um, again, if it's 250 or greater, you would wait. If it's less, push it back in. Um, I'm going to first take 30 to 60, there she is bubbling there, okay, 30 to 60, I would go in and flush my tube to ensure everything is out. I'm going to add 10 milligrams of water to milliliters, excuse me, of water to each med cup. Again, I'm going to make sure that I document these on the I know. Stir them up. So I flushed the NG tube once. I'm going to suck up all of the meds. I'm going to give her one dose. I'm going to go in. I need to 
20 to 30 milliliters and flush in between each medication to ensure that none of the meds are sticking to the side of the tubing. Again, 10 milliliters, 20 to 30 in between each. Slowly, I'm going to do the last one here. then make sure to turn her tube feeding on if necessary. Um, I would come back and assess um, Joanne for any um, side effects of her medication. Um, oscillate for bowel sounds again. I would check um, vitals if necessary if anything was wrong. Um, Take my gloves off, perform hand hygiene, uh, document that I have done all of my medications in a chart. Um, and again, I would come back in about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, make sure I leave the head of the bed up so there's no aspiration. Document I know. That's it. Stop.